Now, at this time, I'd like to read for our audience a brief excerpt of some hardcore truth from my supernatural thriller novel, Keepers of the Gate. To set up the scene, the tough-as-nails gunfighting exorcist priest, Victor Von Luther, who has more vices than virtues, has just infiltrated a vampire's demonic lair and shot the place to pieces, killing several demons and mortally wounding an infernal hellbeast chimera creature that's also known as a freaky, which Von Luther must now deal with in this rivetingly intense scene from my novel, Keepers of the Gate. From out of the darkened corner of the room, a pain rat creepy voice spoke out. Miracles! I spit on your miracles! With his 357 Magnum expulsion gun in hand, Victor Von Luther dashed behind some busted up old furniture and found the source of the creepy voice. It was the green gargoyle-like freaky chimera that he'd wounded earlier. Lying on the floor, the hell beast was writhing in pain, unable to tolerate the excruciating agony he was suffering. Clasping the bullet wound in his side that was seeping smoke as well as blackened blood as if the bullet was burning him from the inside out, the freaky looked up at Victor, who stood above him, gazing down at him like eternal judgment itself. Coughing, the chimera gasped for air, choking on his own blood, before he defiantly said, I spit on you, holy priest. I'm a demon of the highest order. I'm a dark one, son of Lucifer himself, the spawn of the Dawnbearer. Royal blood flows through my heart. I'm full of Satan's power. In reply, Von Luther stated the cold, hard facts, with sharp tongues spiked. You're full of shit. That's what you're full of. Son of Lucifer, don't make me laugh. You're nothing of the sort. You're not even a demon. You don't even have a soul. You probably don't even have a name, do you? And you call yourself Spawn of the Dawn Bearer? You fatherless bastard. You're nothing but a sick joke. You're the unwanted byproduct that was birthed when some lesser evil spirit of hell fornicated with a drunken goat. You're a soulless freak. Some sort of damn green fish with chicken feet. You don't even know what the hell you are! Weeping in defeat, the beast he uttered in between gasps of agony. I feel as though I've been away from the warmth of hell for so long. I feel cold. So cold. Why? Being as cold and unfeeling as the bitter torment raging within the chimera's dying body, Von Luther answered, You just ate one of my bullets, freaky. So it's last call at the bar for you. Shivering as much in fear as he was trembling with pain, the chimera blurted, But, but I can't die. I, I have no soul to lose. If I die, it'll be non-existence. And the Dark Lord Enoram assured me that the weapons of man would have no effect on my kind. Popping open his three fifty seven Magnum Cylinder, and dumping out its empty brass casings to disrespectfully rain down upon the hell beast's belly, Victor stated in a straightforward way, Well, these aren't the weapons of man, freaky. These are the weapons of God. With a casual deliberation that made him look like a shark, steadily circling in for the kill, Von Luther slowly reloaded his three fifty seven revolver, one chamber at a time while he further explained, This is an expulsion gun, ordained by the Vatican. Each apotropaic bullet is called a vanquishing round and has a hollow core, loaded with the natural herbs that John the Baptist used in the wilderness to exercise and drive off demons. And there isn't a freaky, a vampire, demon, or any other son of a bitch in hell who can walk away after I put one of these bullets in his punk ass. Snapping the reloaded cylinder of his three fifty seven Magnum shut with a flick of his wrist, Von Luther aimed his barrel down at the Chimera's head and was about to finish him off when the Freaky pleaded in fear. No, don't! I don't want to die! I repent! I swear on my life, I repent! I believe in your Lord! I believe in all things holy! Just please save me! You're a priest! You can save me! Sneering at the Chimera, Von Luther harshly commented, so now that the hour of judgment is here, you're no longer acting like the badass hell beast you were a minute ago, are you? 
You kill innocent people and drink their blood and worship Satan, but you're sorry for that now, aren't you? You and your hellion kind snatched up children in the middle of the night and murdered and ate them, but you repent now, don't you? And that's supposed to make everything all better, hmm? Nodding in agony, the hell beast whined. Yes, I want forgiveness. To which von Luther flatly replied, Well, unfortunately for you, I'm not in the forgiving business. Shivering from the holy herbs that were tearing up his insides with a burning coldness that felt like an ice storm smothering out the flame of his life, the freaky grasped out in pitiful, pleading air. But, but I repent, priest, with all of my heart. I repent, and I want absolution. Absolution and salvation. You're a priest. You must grant me absolution. Victor still kept his heart of stone as he actually said, must I now? I'm a priest, not a saint. Hocking back the hammer of his 357 Magnum, Von Luther aimed its large muzzle at the center of the chimera's forehead and added with a remorseless and ominous finality, if you want absolution and salvation, you demonic bastard, then do like everyone else. Pray to God, grab a ticket, and stand in line. With a loud blasting roar, Von Luther fired his handgun, sending a vanquishing round to plow dead center into the Chimera's forehead, killing him instantly and proving that even the unjust denizens of hell would meet with justice in the end. Thank you for taking the time to share this moment with me and my character, Cardinal Priest. Victor Von Luther from my action-packed, supernatural, dark fantasy thriller novel, Keepers of the Gate. Available on Amazon for free on Kindle Unlimited. What a deal. That's a whole lot of entertainment you can get for free. I do hope you'll give it a read because this is a story that'll open your eyes to the truth. And in the end, the truth is all that matters.